It's a common phenomenon, brand enthusiasts zero in on an overseas model and imagine that if it were appropriated for stateside consumption, it would not only upend the performance per dollar hierarchy, but also require dealerships to hire extra security to handle the teeming masses waving their checkbooks. I'd be first in line. They say. In this instance, the manufacturer is Chevrolet and the car is the Holden Commodore, but General Motors was planning to bring it stateside as the Chevrolet SS long before the keyboard tastemakers took notice. Having previously experienced less than stellar results with the sadly misunderstood Pontiac GTO and later the Pontiac G8 sedan, two recent Australian-American V8-powered products that failed to build much excitement at the cash register, GM knew to temper the plan with a dose of consumer reality. Sales turned out to be consistent if not earth-shattering, GM sold 2,479 units in 2014, 2,895 in 2015, and 3,013 in 2016. Ultimately, it was the company's decision to shutter hold in production altogether, not weak sales, that sealed the SS's fate. Ordering for the SS concluded at the end of February, with Chevrolet dealers now selling off any remaining stock. Interestingly, Chevy sold 1,529 SS's in the first three months of 2000.